Hello and welcome to episode number nine of Crypto Cartography. Today we are talking protocols in crypto. We are talking 0x. We have 10 minutes. Let's get started. Now, what is a protocol? A protocol is a standard set of rules that allow electronic devices to communicate with each other. 0x has been described as a pipeline of smart contracts. If we come over to our TLDR investment thesis, open standards protocol for dApps and DEXs to conduct trustless transactions using any digital asset on Ethereum. Wonderful. Now let's go right to our historical timeline. Um, idea conception by two founders back in October 2016. Very public and very active team, which is nice. Um, February 17, 2017 was the white paper. Zero X, an open protocol for decentralized exchange on the Ethereum blockchain. Next was our ICO. I'm on crypto rank. August 2017, $24 million raised um, at a 0.048 token per token price um, half of the 1 billion total supply was sold so this implies 48 million dollar valuation at ICO um, the token issuance coming to CoinGecko was then around October 2017 issued at 22 cents um, had a nice run with the bull run there in 2017 um, and then has been pretty slow all the way up until the summer of DeFi in 2020 and has had really strong performance here in the last month or so with the total value locked in DeFi also skyrocketing as well. Um, the token all-time high was 250, token all-time low was 12 cents. Um, we do have live products and let's go through them really quickly. We have the 0x API, which allows relayers to um, utilize the standards and the protocols. What are relayers? Relayers are for-profit dApps that run nodes to conduct, to conduct DEX transactions, and they pay protocol fees um, for accessing and using the open standards protocol. We also have a 0x mesh, which is access to a global peer-to-peer -peer order book for tokens. So we do have this concept of 0x enabling on-chain decentralized peer-to-peer -peer dApps and exchanges to utilize off-chain or off-chain order books. And 0x mesh looks like it. We have a peer-to-peer -peer kind of network of order books. We also have 0x instant, which is a flexible and free way to offer simple crypto purchasing. That's live as well. Matcha is their first, probably largest release of a product. This is from 0x Labs, their for-profit business entity. Um, very nice design there. Like I mentioned, they do have 0x Labs and also a 0x launch kit if you want to launch your own marketplace in minutes. Lastly, they do have the 0x zero, zero portal uh, where you can manage staking. There's about 21 million 0x uh, staked. Um, we know the rewards, current epochs. Epochs are seven days long. Um, additionally, the portal is where we can get to see governance as well. Um, it is a Web3 um, device, as you can see my, my wallet's linked. And here, if you are a ZX holder, you can participate in governance as well. Quickly looking at the token and value propositions, it is a governance and utility token. The governance is of the, of the 0x protocol and future reserves, um, I assume, from the 0x labs for-profit businesses. Um, utility is an incentive mechanism. It's a pr uh, protocol fees for dApps using the 0x services. Um, the value of the token is derived from the network effects around liquidity, is what is a quote from the team. Uh, value propositions, like we said, enables on-chain decentralized P2P um, dApps and exchanges to utilize off-chain order books. Um, that saves gas fees. They're also setting standards for the tokenization of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, marketplaces. They're definitely powering the migration from centralized finance to decentralized finance. Um, the tokenization of assets um, should increase, should, is by definition or um, by theory more efficient and cheaper. So there, um, that's a major value prop here. Um, the other side of the relayers or the other users of the 0x protocol is the traders. So they are the users of um, the dApps and the DEXs. It is a trustless exchange. Right now, they are providing liquidity to DeFi, and hopefully in the future, this goes to an API powering all digital assets.
Next, last quickly before we get to the quantitative, our investment risks. We do have developer adoption risk, both for um, developers coming to Ethereum and, and using ZeroX standards. Um, the standards adoptions risk does exist, but I do think it's probably low. We have governance risk, as in zero ZRX token holders are the governance holders. It is a new concept, it's an unproven concept. Um, a risk is that can ZeroX grow from just DeFi to other tokenized assets? Um, there's tokenization risk in that is there a delayed tokenization of real world assets in general? Um, and if there is, that could slow the growth of ZeroX. There's interoperability risk. Um, are they able to handle maps? Um, again, are they actually centralization risk on Ethereum? Um, is that a risk? Are they planning to, to be able to have interoperability with all DLTs? And then they have um, also, I believe, centralized exchange risk. Uh, maybe, maybe the sexes win. Um, I doubt it. That's probably pretty low as well. Over to our Google Sheets and our quantitative analysis. Um, as we're doing this, really quickly, we have a couple of wonderful um, statistics and usage trackers of the ZeroX um, platform. ZeroXTracker.com. We can come over here and check our top relayers. There's 15 total right now. And we do have some big names here, um, Matcha, One Inch. Um, we do have Gods Unchanged, Large Card Game. Um, there's 15 right now, so I want to track the growth of that. As well, we could look at usage statistics of, of the network in general. And what I want to focus on here are protocol fees, um, the revenue, in, in my opinion, of, of the protocol so far, as, as well as staking. Um, and as you can see, it has grown really nicely here in August and July. And we want to see continued growth and kind of stabilized growth for the rest of this year and into 2021. Um, additionally, Dune Analytics is also tracking um, the ZRX platform fairly closely as well. They also do daily protocol fees. So come here for your daily protocol fees tracking. Um, they also do your staking um, analytics as well, which is nice. Additionally, I found a great uh, post on Brave New Coin. Shout out to Josh here. Um, he's Carpe Notcom on Telegram and YouTube. Uh, really nice little technical chart here showing kind of from inception all the way up until about July. And this is about 39 cents, and we've jumped, jumped up now to 70 up here. Um, so we're kind of filling in this, this order book here and this volume right here, hopefully setting a new standard of around 50 to 65 cents. Now, let's say we put $1,000 into the market. And with a price of around 72 cents, we would get 1,300, around 1,300 tokens. Um, I've gone ahead and estimated some market caps here in the future. And here is our, our token price potential, our potential investment value, and our potential profit as well. Um, so if the Ethereum platform does grow to be the multi, you know, $100 billion uh, behemoth that some think it may be, um, Zero X could turn into a multi-billion um, dollar organization as well, and we could see our token price raise here from under a dollar up to over multiple dollars, $2 um, at $2.5 billion, actually $10 at $10 billion. It's lining up nicely because of the total supply of $1 billion. Um, as always, in my opinion, we have our four potential outcomes here for our investment in Zero X. Failure, the organization could fail, um, and we could lose all of our return. We could sell here in the, in, in the third BTC bull run. This is looking like a DeFi uh, bull run as well. And uh, Zero X is powering DeFi at the moment on the Ethereum blockchain. We could wait and wait for DeFi to mature, wait for Ethereum to mature, sell in the fourth BTC bull, uh, bull run cycle and look for some larger gains. And then we also could be a holder and a staker and a government part participant in the network. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's quite a technical investment, um, and we could do that. And if you believe the organization is going to be tens of billions, um, we could see token prices upwards of $10, 20 uh, $30. Here's I've broken down portfolio subsectors. If you're looking for protocols, uh, DeFi protocols at the moment, but digital asset protocols in general or exchange protocols, uh, decentralized governance because it's a governance token, is that this is a play on infrastructure, on the tokenization of assets. It's a play as an Ethereum service provider, an exchange service provider, a DAP service provider. It's a play against centralized exchanges. 
and it's certainly a technical investment. Um, so if you're if you're a developer um, and you're interested in Ethereum, um, especially, I think this is a great investment. Um, this one's definitely harder to wrap your head around if you're not from a developer background. These were the comparables that I came up with. This was also quite difficult, um, but pretty much I was thinking about protocols from other DLTs. So I know Serum um, was a decentralized, uh, a DeFi product released from the Solana blockchain recently. I'm wondering if the capabilities of 0x are built in to other DeFi protocols um, or protocols for, for other DLT ledgers, um, including Polkadot and Stellar. So let me know your thoughts on comparables as I found that a little difficult to, um, to build. So I do think we have a buy.